So welcome to Lucy Chapel Community Fundraiser with Cornwall Mind and Ian Bell, President of the Rotary Club of Truro Boscowan. And we're talking about the upcoming Joint Challenge event, the Big Rotary Cornish Coastal Footpath Challenge. And Ian, you're the President of the League and Organising Club in this county-wide event. So firstly, what has it been like during coronavirus for the Rotary Club? Well, of course, uh, all of our lives have been upset by the control measures for the virus. And the Rotary Club normally meets weekly uh, we meet at the cathedral in Truro and plan and organise ourselves. All that, of course, has had to go by the board, as has the, the activities that we normally would have been part partaking in. And how did you come up with the idea for the big Rotary Cornish Coastal Footpath Challenge? Because all of our normal activities were on hold, uh, we initially came up with the idea of a virtual walk. Um, a, a team of us, our events team, got together and we came up with the idea of walking from Land's End to John O'Groats, using the mileage that we were all walking for our daily exercise during the uh, lockdown. Um, this worked extremely well. We sponsored ourselves effectively and we raised nearly £2,000 and we covered the distance in about three and a half weeks. That led on to the thought then when things opened up that perhaps we could actually start walking uh, and we picked on the Cornish coastal footpath as the route we wanted to do. All these things take time to set up uh, with insurance and risk assessments and whatever. So we did all that for our club. And then we hit on the idea that since we've done all the groundwork, it would be a good idea to ask our fellow Rotarians in the county to see if they wanted to join us. And fortunately, they did. Just tell us a little bit about the event and who's involved. Right, well, our own, our own club members are, are, have backed us fully on this one, together with the other Rotary Clubs and also a very strong team from Cornwall Mind. Uh, the route is 293 miles and we split it up into 26 different legs and people have nominated which leg they wanted to walk. Um, we are then coordinating all of this. Uh, Lucy is organising the financial side, we're organising the logistics um, and uh, we've given people the whole of August to walk the walk. We can walk at the, uh, in small groups or as individuals. Um, they can pick the time that they want to walk and they can walk it in two or three goes if that's needed. Um, many Rotarians have, are a little older uh, in age profile and therefore uh, we don't want to challenge them too much. But uh, we're, we're really pleased that we've got 15 other Rotary Clubs that have now joined us to do this together with my team. We've got most of the route covered now. The only bits that are missing are the rather strenuous bits up near Bude. Um, and it might be one or two of our club members who are better walkers who might go and finish off the route up there. But we're <laughs> delighted with the amount of uh, response we've had. And hopefully this will lead on to uh, a reasonable sponsorship for Cornwall Mind. So Lucy, this must be an exciting opportunity for Cornwall Mind. This is a great event for Cornwall Mind. Um, we're a very small local charity that, that supports those in our county who are struggling with their mental health. And we're only going to see more and more demands on our services over the next few months. So to have such overwhelming support from, from Rotary Clubs from across our county really gives us an opportunity to, to engage so many other people in, in sharing our cause, in talking about the impact of, of lockdown on our well-being, and actually gets us out on the coast path and doing something that's good for ourselves as well. So it's brilliant to have had Truro Boscowan leading on this for us um, and for so many other Rotary Clubs that actually value the work that we're doing and wanting to help us raise awareness and funds. So a huge thank you to everybody that's taking part and to Ian and his club for being at the forefront of this with us. So Lucy, I believe that the Cornwall Mind Bunch are quite an active group. They've been physically active during lockdown. Yes, our staff and volunteer and trustee team have been active during lockdown. We've taken part in a virtual event on Strava. We've walked the equivalent distance of the Southwest Coast Path between us over the last few months. Um, so everybody's really engaged in this event where we can actually get out to the coast path now. We can take part in this challenge. We can work with Rotary and walk with Rotary to raise awareness and funds for our wonderful charity. Um, and it's great to have such an active and engaged staff and volunteer team that want to take part in this with us. So Ian, have you found walking to be good for the mental health and well-being of those members getting involved? I think so. Um... We normally have weekly fellowship meetings, which we, 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 we as I say, we talk and we get organised. Uh, this is now switched to Zoom meetings every fortnight. 
and a ring round for those that are less able to communicate by Zoom. Uh, so we're mindful of the um, of keeping in touch with each other and supporting each other. Fortunately, we have some very keen walkers in the club anyway, and we actually organise uh, walks that are usually based on a pub eventually <laughs> within the club. So we are, we are quite a fit and uh, keen walking set anyway, and uh, so this this only helps us, gives us a purpose, and, and gets us out there. Um, in, in good fresh air and uh, and meeting in smaller groups. And how many Rotarians are getting involved from Truro Boscowan as the league club? Uh, our club has 30 members, of which probably 26 are active uh, in terms of fitness. Uh, and of those, more than 80% are going to be walking with us. So Ian, why Cornwall Mind and why support a mental health charity? The concept of Rotary is to support local charities, that's our main aim. Uh, we support many local charities, but we have a very close relationship with Cornwall Mind. We had a fascinating talk from one of their leaders. We understand that they're now merging the two parts of the previous uh, charity into one. So they, they, they have reorganisational costs and whatever. And we're keen to give them a boost during this period to, uh, to enable them to uh, establish themselves and do more good within the county. And Lucy, Cornwall Mind are going to have a team taking part as well, aren't they? Yes, we've got trustees, staff and volunteers who have signed up to walk sections of the coast path with us. And um, this is a great challenge for us to, to be involved in personally. Um, you know, we live and breathe our values and we're always talking about how physical activity can help our well-being. Um, so for us to be involved, to walk with Rotary Clubs, to walk with our own friends and family, you know, we're modelling those things that we know are so important for our own well-being. And it's a really exciting time for us as, as two smaller minds emerging to form one Cornwall Mind charity. So the more we can engage with service organisations and local communities, you know, we can have those conversations and start to really extend our support and services, you know, beyond Carrick and Restormal, where historically, you know, that's been very much the focus of, of those local minds. So it's a really exciting time for us as a countywide organisation now to really start waving the flag for, for mental health services in Cornwall. How can we keep track on the event and get more information? Check out the social media pages of Cornwall Mind and Truro Rotary Boscowan. Um, we're going to be posting videos and photos and sharing walkers' experiences and, and blogs on the, on the coast path. The Rotary Club of Truro Boscowan have got a great map on their website, so they're going to be updating all the miles and the walkers. So we've got one collective visual of everybody that's out there with us. Um, so, yeah, very much looking forward to kind of sharing our collective progress and hopefully raising lots of funds so we can keep supporting those people in our community who really need it. So there's more information on the website. It's cornwallmind.org. Also follow us on social media at Cornwall Mind and on Instagram, you know, where we'll be keeping our progress up to date. There'll also be ideas and other ways that you might want to get involved to support Cornwall Mind and fundraise for us in your community. And, and finally, just a huge thank you to Ian, to the Rotary Club of Tura Boscowan for leading on this event and to all the Rotarians that are getting involved for getting out on the coast path, for walking, for living and breathing mental well-being and actually raising lots of funds and lots of awareness to support people in our community. So a huge thank you. Stay safe. You know, look after yourselves and enjoy the beauty that Cornwall has to offer. Lucy and Ian, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you, Ian, and um, look forward to sharing our progress with you over the next few weeks. Uh, thank you, Lucy. Thank you for the opportunity to, to help your charity and we, we will keep you up to date with where we are and hopefully raise plenty of money. Thank you.